Hello gems, my name is Sapphire and I'm going to be showing you how to turn your Vroid or VRM, um, this will be a Vroid model, but it can be a VRM as well, into a VR chat avatar with a super duper quick converter. One of the easiest processes. If you have gone through other videos, I feel your pain. So let's do it super easily thanks to a really great creator who made a converter package. And it will work with full body and you also will have all your bones and the physics with your hair moving. So let's get right into it. Okay, so step number one is going to be to download Creator Companion. This is a new way VRChat has made it so much easier for creators, world creators, avatar creators to basically upload their avatars. This is the thing that allows you to connect your avatar into VRChat to connect worlds to VRChat. If you don't have an account already with VRC, you will have to make one and I don't know if they removed this so please let me know in the comments if anybody knows but I believe you do need to be a user and have played for a certain amount of time before you can upload an avatar. So if you run into any issues later where it's not letting you because of that, then you want to increase your playtime with VRChat. So I'm assuming you already have an account and you're already able to upload avatars, but if not, make sure to try some of those things. Okay, cool. And then for downloading it, we're just going to click this and I'll leave this link in the description and you want to be logged in and you're just going to click download the creator companion right here. And once it's finished downloading and you have VRChat creator companion, you can go ahead and double click that and then we'll click I accept the agreement and we'll go next and we'll let it install and then it should open your creator companion. So the next thing we'll do is go to projects, click to create new project, and then we'll do a Unity 2022 avatar project. So select that and I'll just call this Sapphire Made Outfit 2 because I already have one. And then you'll choose where you want to save it and I'll just go ahead and click create project. Now you will need Unity. Unity is a game engine used for game developers and it's a great way people can add mods and different stuff to different games depending on what that game needs. So VRChat works with Unity. So if you don't have Unity or the correct version installed, with VRC it should point you towards installing the correct Unity version with some type of pop-up. However, if it's not for whatever reason, the Unity version I'm on is 2022.3.22. And if you need to find that version, you can type in Unity Archives into Google and I'll leave this link in down below as well. I'm sorry if you're hearing the vroom vroom outside. It's very noisy outside <laughs> where I live. And 2022.3.2 is what I have. So then you'll go ahead and install that. But like I said, the creator companion should be pointing you towards the right one. So we'll have these three, which should automatically be downloaded. And as you can see, I have one that says VRM converter for VR chat. You don't have that yet. So let's go ahead and add that. We're going to go to the bottom left, click settings, and you're going to go to the packages tab, click that. And we're going to click add repository. So there's going to be a section to plug in a link here, which I'll leave down below. You're going to find the link here. This is basically just a written version literally of this tutorial I'm making so shout out to this document because it's directly what I'm working off of and the link's going to be right here and again I'll leave this link down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that link and we're just going to click add and I already have it so of course I can't add it again so just make sure you have a check mark next to this package. The other ones I have you don't need to worry about those those are for other projects. So I'll go back to my projects tab and now we'll go to Sapphire Made Outfit 2 and we'll just click manage project. This is going to show where all of the extra add-ons are and we're gonna go to the VRM converter package click this drop down we can click this here to get the latest version or you can click this plus as well which will add it to its project okay so once that's added in you can go ahead and open your project and again unity will need to be installed for you to open your project version number right here and we'll click that and it's gonna take quite a bit now for your vroid file or your vrm file since i'll be using vroid specifically in this tutorial i'll go ahead and show you how to export that model out of vroid studio now i won't be using this model i'm just showing you this example i don't have my sapphire model currently hooked up or connected to this version of my Vroid Studio. Anyways, if you also have never used Vroid Studio, it's a great program to check out where you can make avatars quite easily if you're new to 3D modeling. And they come out in a .vrm format. So to export your model out of Vroid Studio, you'll click this little arrow here, click export as VRM. You'll give it a second to load and we'll go ahead and click export and you'll have to put a name in. So I'll just put test creator name is required as well. You can fill out any other info if you want and then we'll just click export and save it to our desktop. So I'll just save it as test and we'll let that export. And that should be good. So wherever your VRM file is, make sure to have that ready for the next step. All right. And once your Unity is up and running, you'll go ahead and drag your VRM file. And once you see this little plus icon, drop it in the assets area here in the blank space. So I'll go ahead and let go and just let Unity go ahead and do its thing. That's going to do all the conversion work for you. Great. And now that she's in here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on her down here. So make sure that's highlighted. Go up to VRM zero and we'll click duplicate and convert for 
VR chat. Here's all the info here. We don't need to worry about any of that for this tutorial. Go ahead and click duplicate and convert. Go ahead and click save and just let that load. Go ahead and click okay and your model should pretty much be converted. Now you can edit things if you want. If you're an experienced creator, then there are some things of course that you can edit. I am going to show you how to edit your viewpoint because sometimes that is messed up. So I'm just going to click on Sapphire Colliders here in my hierarchy, my avatar, and we'll go ahead and look here. So as we can see, this is where all the blend shapes, basically when your avatar speaks, how their mouth moves was converted. So that's super duper handy that it does all that for you because that would be something you'd have to do in Blender before if we didn't have a package like this. All right, so I'm just scrolling down and I'm looking for the view position. We're going to go ahead and click edit. And as you can see, it's kind of back here and I'm going to go ahead and click this blue arrow and move this up and put it kind of just right between the eyes. So this is common practice for any model you'd work on. This is where my viewpoint will be when I'm looking in VR. And then we'll just click return and it should stay right there. And your eyes will be looking around a lot. If that's bothering you, you can always come back here and click the disable button if you don't want your eyes looking around. I'm not going to worry about anything else in this tutorial, but I would like to hook up hand gestures later. So doing specific hand gestures with my VR controllers hooked up to certain emotions. So I would like to do that as a part two tutorial for this. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for, for all future updates on all things art, VTubing, 3D modeling. All right, and now that that's done, we'll go ahead and click VRChat SDK, click show control panel, and you're gonna have to log in here. You probably will need to get a verification code sent to your email. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that. And now I'm logged in and we'll go to the builder section and give our avatar a name. I'll put Sapphire description, I'll put Saya made two. Visibility, you can leave to private unless you want someone to be able to clone your avatar, which chances are you probably don't if it's your model. So keep that to private. For your thumbnail, you can either capture an in-scene thumbnail or you can select a thumbnail, like maybe you have a piece of artwork of your character or something like that. For this one, I'm just gonna capture from the scene and then we'll go ahead and scroll down. Everything else looks good. We'll click this little check mark here and oh, it looks like I forgot something. Please set a name and a thumbnail. Oh no, I did. Okay, I didn't click capture, that's why. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and click capture and now it's good. So then we can click build. Oh, I'm in the way. All right, I was in the way there for a moment. So when you scroll down, you can click this little check mark here and this will have this button up here once you click the check mark that says build and publish. So we'll click that, go ahead and just name it. Again, we'll just put Sci of VRC2, save and let that load and it'll take a little while. Oh, hello, do you have something to say? He wants to tell you, make a cat girl avatar, please. <laughs> we'll get an upload successful. Yay! And then you can go ahead and log into VRChat and click switch to avatar. So then when you log in, you will have your avatar. There's also a way in game to get to a menu where you'll go to your avatars and select my avatars. And that's where you'll find anything that you've uploaded. If you're looking to start customizing your model more and getting your model into a 3D modeling program like Blender, you can check out this tutorial next for how to convert a VRM model to Blender. Good luck on your journey. And a big, big thank you to all my Patreons who have been supporting me. You guys rock!